Sure, it's it's very important. I mean, um, its importance cannot be like I guess you can't just say that uh, how important it is because um, uh, if I'm doing something wrong, the only way I can know I'm doing wrong is if someone else telling me because I wouldn't have done it if I didn't feel it did didn't feel it was right. So until unless someone comes and tells me you, what you're doing is wrong, I think this is the right way. So if someone throughout the semester gives us feedback on all of our assignments, we, I would know that whether it's um, whether what I'm doing is right or wrong. Also, like if it's um, uh, something like if I'm told the right way, um, not necessarily the answer, but how, like how we should have done it, that really helps. Like if it's a theory answer, what should have been our focus? You know, um, what kind of uh, marks are we looking for each? Uh, what kind of writing, like how much we should write and all that, so definitely these all help. And um, for lecturers it's important to have feedback throughout the whole um, semester. It's important to have regular assessments. That kind of keeps all the students up to date and um, as students we kind of know what's to be expected and that we're on track with the unit and also the feedback is important because it kind of tells us where, which areas that we need to improve on, so that helps us for our final exams and our learning experience. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> uh, if I think it's uh, really necessary to get feedback on that subject, then I'd definitely look up for the lecture and seek, some, seek for some more feedback. But if it's not necessary and if, if the lecture outlines beforehand, like for instance, in some subjects, they just give out a grade and they outline that, okay, if you get this grade, then um, this is what you've achieved and this is what you lack. So if it's designed that way, then I don't think it's necessary to get more feedback. Oh, the, I reckon a marking guideline, but that's not always possible in more creative units, I guess. But at least just a paragraph back saying these are your strengths, these are your weaknesses, you could have done more of this. You, yeah just what I could have done more of or less of and the good parts and bad parts. Just a, just a paragraph to say where I went wrong and what I did right. That um, for me, uh, in a subject that I did previously, the feedback was what indicated um, what I needed to work on within, the, within that unit, uh, what, I st uh, what I didn't do well in the assignment, uh, what parts I didn't understand, had to go back over, and what I needed to work on in the future to actually do well in the assignment. So definite feedback is a must. Um, definitely parts on, such as um, common mistakes, um, where it's easy, uh, where students easily uh, make mistakes on. Uh, um, places where students get misled easily, um, Confucians, for example. Um, definitely parts where students can improve on, where generally students do better at, need to improve on. And something like perhaps another way of approaching a question. So looking at the question from different perspectives after the exam will make students think. And they might think, oh, I could have done it this way or maybe that way. So it's opening a door to them. Uh, definitely more specific to the assignment, so I know how it relates to the work that I've done. Um, I also think that getting generic feedback in what the how the group did overall and some things that the lep that the marker of the assignment thought were important. That, that does help a lot in that you may not have thought of that when doing the assignment yourself. And it's clear that other people may not have thought of that and it may be a general understanding of what's going on. Um, so having both helps. I know it's difficult in trying to prepare, mark the 150 assignments or more that they often get and provide some sort of generic feedback, but it really does help as much feedback as possible. And actually, I think we should get feedbacks on time. 
because sometimes the feedbacks come say after our final exams and I'm thinking what's the point of a feedback after my final exams? I just did my exam, it's either I failed or passed. Um, with the feedbacks, yeah, it's important I think. The timeliness of the, the, the feedback is actually quite important to create enough incentive for the students to actually go back to see whether they did wrong exactly what's the good bit that they've done for that assignment, that the bit that they need to know, or, you know, I need to do this next time and I'll get high marks, or, or um, it's a good way of learning. And they also need to know the bad bit about what they did wrong and they can improve on that part. But um, I, I think it's really difficult because after two weeks, no one wants to go back and look at the assignments because they, they have a, another assignment coming up. So um, one of my lecturer, she is actually quite good in terms of um, assessment and feedback. She takes her time after three weeks, but what she does is that um, she takes the time to mark, look at each specific individual assignment, and she goes through every single paragraph to see, or oh, you know, which uh, this paragraph is great because of blah blah blah, and this bit is, or oh, you didn't cover enough in this area, you need to do more research and she actually leads you to that part to see where you can find more information on that bit, how you can improve on that area. And what she does is that she takes all the assignments, not give it to Eric. Eric is the resource information centre for our division EFS, for the students to correct individually. What she does is that she actually takes that assignment sometimes. She takes the assignment by herself, bring it to the lecturer, and then she gives it out in the lecture, but spend that whole lecture talking about that assignment by grouping students into different areas of the mistake that you've made or the common um, um, misunderstanding of the assignments and stuff like that, then she groups you and she goes through the assignment and you actually know, well, you, you have to have the incentive then because you have nowhere to go. You have to stay in the lecture to go through the assignment. And that was actually quite, I think that was quite effective. So I, I guess one of the way to improve the timeliness and the effectiveness of the feedback is to create incentive for the students to actually go through the assignment themselves or do it together. <laughs>